So the tricopter's finished and works really well. Um, as soon as I finished this one I thought what if I make two servo arms and put them on a central hub. So I've quickly cut out another two arms, modified the drawings and made a central two arm hub and we're going to assemble the two arms and see if we can get a simple bicopter to work. Okay so we've uh, glued all the bits together, we've cleaned off all the uh, glue residue and now I'm ready to uh, drill the motor mount. Um, it fits nicely in this top unit so I've got a spare motor mount here and I'm just going to use that as a template to drill the holes. As soon as I've drilled one hole I just put screw in that hole to keep everything in line and I can drill the opposite corner. Again another screw in that one and then I can drill the last two. So now I can fix the motor to the motor mount and then I'll fit the motor onto this platform. So that's the motor mount fitted onto the motor and the holes are now drilled so I'm just going to use M3 screws and lock nuts to fix this down. The motor's been screwed down and now it's time to put the whole assembly in the end of the arm. These holes here have been drilled 4mm um, and I've got some uh, M4 times 12 millimeters long uh, stainless screws here, and I'll be using nylocks again. You want to put these in, um, but don't tighten them fully up, otherwise you'll uh, clamp the whole assembly together, and then it won't work very well. You want it to be tight but nice and smooth. There should just be enough room in here to get the nuts on the back. Right, the motor's in place, now it's time to put the servo in. Uh, there's a little cut out in this piece of wood here and that allows the motor wire to go in. What I like to do on this is put the motor in place and then use a pen just draw around the motor, mount, motor mounts here without the rubbers in then drill the holes and then put it back in place again. Now I can use a 1mm drill to pilot those holes. I'm now ready to drill these holes. I said in the last clip it was 1mm drill, it's actually 1.5mm. Now we can mount the servo. So I've finished building up the two arms. I've uh, left the servo horns off and the links because I don't know if the servos are in their neutral position at the moment. Uh, so the next part is to uh, wire up the speed controllers. I'm using these Hobby Power 30 amp speed controllers but before I solder the wires on I'm going to uh, go and put Simon K firmware on them so I'm going to have to remove the covers. Once I've done that I can then put the wires through and uh, connect the, the power cables. Okay so I've finished the wiring on the speed controllers. As you can see I've gone straight from the motor to the speed controller. That gets rid of a couple of connectors that could fail. And then on the power side I've come out of there, gone through the frame and then uh, 
gone both wires a length on each side and gone to a uh, connector there. So now I'm ready to put the top deck back on. Okay so I've finished this build. Um, there was a few things I needed to do before I even managed to uh, test it. Uh, when I configured the KK board to uh, dual copter uh, the servos instantly went to one of their limits so I had to go into the uh, third and fourth channel which are the two servos and change them to 50% offset and I also had to change the direction by changing it to minus 100. Uh, that sorted those out. Um, also put the self level on, calibrated the uh, accelerometer and then gave it a go and it did not go very well so I've uh, reset this to standard and I will show you what it's like. So it's actually debatable whether I am in control of this or not. I'll zoom out and you can have a laugh. Uh, sorry, look. As you can see it's fairly uncontrollable. I'm going to persevere if changing the parameters and see if I can get it to fly. But at the moment it's looking like it hasn't got enough uh, weight below the servos to make it work.
So just before I do a redesign, I found this old landing gear from another quadcopter and I thought I'd just uh, see if that made a difference and um, it has. The only problem is it's uh, added to the weight considerably. Okay, for a few evenings I've tried about success to get it to fly. It was obvious I needed more weight at the bottom, so quick redesign. I've added the battery at the bottom. So now we come to the next problem is how do we launch this? So we've gone for the bucket launch mechanism. Okay, the landing was a bit difficult, 